We came up with this super efficient uh, internal combustion engine, four-cylinder engine, small one. I mean, think about future Formula One technology in this car. It's a super efficient, very compact power, power pack combined with two significant large electric motors. So the power of the combustion and the electric motor power will be about the same. So what will make this stand out in your mind is this supercar is a hybrid, and that's how you're going to differentiate it from the other supercars. There are lots of hybrids, but this car has more electric power than we know, we think we know other supercars have. Yeah. It is more an electric hybrid than a hybrid. Okay. So it, in, in pure electric mode, it already is a very, very fast sports car. And then if you add this combustion engine, that it is an outstanding, really breathtaking supercar beyond, beyond what, what's available. And obviously, for someone to spend several hundred thousand dollars to buy a supercar, it's going to have to be just as fast as if it wasn't a hybrid. Is that the point? Yes, absolutely. Now, number one, it accelerates zero to 100 below three seconds. <laughs> It does accelerate 1 to 100 miles, 160 kilometers below 6 seconds. Yeah. And it does more than 200 miles per hour. And it will have an emission of less than 99 grams. How many do you expect to sell and how many do you need to sell to be profitable with this car? Our intention is to sell no more than 250. We want to keep it very exclusive. We don't need to sell more than 250. A year? No, total. in total. Okay. It will be a very exclusive, limited run. Mm -hmm some of which will be dedicated for track use, so it will never be registered. The others will go to collectors and enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. So how's Jaguar Land Rover performing for Tata? Obviously you bought it from Ford, a lot of investment by Ford, now a lot of investment by you. How is it performing now as two very well-known brands as part of Tata Motors' global strategy? Jaguar Land Rover has come out of the recession amazingly well. Um, the, la the first the first three quarter of our financial year, uh, which ended by December, we showed a significant profit of around about 800 million pounds before tax. So that was really, it's a significant turnaround, um, which I think nobody really expected. Which gives us now the financial strength and muscle to build, build the brand, both brands, beyond I think what was in any plan before the recession or during the recession. So we're coming out of the recession strong, stronger than ever, with a very good and ambitious plan, with great support from Tata, from Ratan Tata personally, from Ravi Kant, our vice chairman, with, with plans to really developing both brands to where they need to be and should be.